All right, now we cross over to Hayden from the Entertain House for the final word. Legends like Lockyer, legends like Alan Langer, they never die. And Wally Lewis knows that we never give up. We're here at Suncorp Stadium for game number two tonight. We go into this game as favourites, but we love the status of being an underdog. What does being a Queenslander mean? It means never giving up, never dying. If we lose the lead, we'll get that lead back. With new players such as Ruben Cotter, who's provided such versatility to this pack, and the young comer, Rhys Walsh. Can he be the next Billy Slater? The days of Darren Lockyer, Billy Slater, Cameron Smith, they are over. As we look to a new generation of Maroon and look for our first back-to-back -back victory in just a few years. Good day guys, welcome back to the Entertain House YouTube channel. I'm very excited. It is game two here at Suncorp Stadium. I'm joined with Hainsey. We were, you know, we've been bad boys. We've been distracting Channel 10 reporters. Oh, that guy was <laughs> stuttering all right. Uh, that, 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 bloody hell. Channel 10, pick up your game. Make sure you go and check out Hainsey's final word over on TikTok. I did include mine at the start of the video. Look, Hainsey's obviously going to say New South Wales 13 plus. Yeah, 100%. So I'm going to give you my yeah, opinion. Jamal's running for a run. Jamal's running parks. <laughs> I am, everyone's out here at Suncorp. Massive crowd. Caction Street's already buzzing. I'm going to go with the Maroons here. I'm going to go the Maroons to win 16 points to 10. Keep it in fashion of a low scoring origin game. Now, Hainsey, you have a bit of a, an omen here. Australia yes. won. Oh, I'll let you say. Well, I stayed up till 5 a.m. this morning watching Australia uh, beat the Poms. Now, funny enough, the Australians won by two wickets. There was two New South Wales men batting at the time in Pat Cummins and Nathan Wine. New South Wales won by two wickets, and we had two New South Wales batsmen at the time. So, New South Wales by two. He's going to go New South Wales by two. I'm going to go New South Wales by six. And uh, here's Fletch coming over. Here's My Fletch first try Tabby scorer is going to be Hamaso Tabby Wife for now. My man of the match, Reese Walsh. First try scorer, man of the match. Well, going to go a bit of a roughie. I'm going Tyson Fazell. Okay. Tyson Fazell, first try scorer, Teddy, man of the match. Let's do it. It's Origin, baby. Time up. Here's Gun. Look at this one, we're going to find out, but I think it is going to be 
giving you no try. Holmes and his incredible try scoring record, but we'll see.
we were temporarily using Emily's phone for the vlog. So, I'm out of storage. Queensland on the attack. Queensland on the attack. Offload. Big 
run from Cam Murray. Gets an offload away. Martin, Queensland have it. It's all over, baby. State of Origin 2023, back to back champion, the Queensland Maroons! Brisbane at night on the bridge. Full time and the Queensland Maroons get the dub 32 points to six. Man of the match according to Channel 9 there was Lindsay Collins. I would have had uh, Daily Cherry Evans because of that try saving tackle. I believe he had at least a try assist or two. I thought the hammer defensively was outstanding. I thought Lindsay I mentioned had a really good 10 minute stint, uh, but at the same time we're up by a big score there. Uh, as for Moses, I thought his running game was quite good. I just didn't think that Moses and Luai worked as a halves combination and the attack of the Blues was pretty pretty poor, if I'm honest. Moving Cook to centre was a, a decision early on with Travojevic being ruled out, but it obviously didn't work in the Blues' favour and a few errors from him. But, um, yeah, got the win. 32 points to six. And now head back to Sydney for what people thought could be a decider which is just kind of a nothing game now for game number three at Sydney. But um, guys, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and uh, check out the link description for merch. And uh, look, I'm looking forward to the Parramatta Eels taking on the Dolphins at Sunshine Coast on Saturday. Time to get some rest and I'll see you guys later.